Hello everyone. Welcome to Infigyan. In this powerful video of exponential equation, we are going to solve equation that is 9 power x over 4 power x minus 15 raised to the power x over 14 power x equal to 25 power x over 49 power x. So you will be thinking that we should take LCM, we should make common denominator or should we apply dividing application of division by any term. So there are many ways possible to attempt this problem. But important point is what is clue? How you will identify that this question belongs to such category? And what is that category exactly? Let me tell you only, only in first few seconds, then we will take directly the solution part. If you will observe 9 over 4 is the square of 3 over 2. Fifteen over fourteen. We'll talk little later. Right hand side, see, it is five over seven whole square power x by exponent properties and all those things. Minus. See, fifteen I can write three power x into five power x by exponent property. Okay, factors of fifteen you will write three and five. Factors of fourteen you will write two and seven. If I split that one. Now if you will observe then see this is 3 over 2, 5 over 7 and see it is there. 3 over 2 and 5 over 7. That means once we divide either I can say divide by right hand side or I can say multiply by 49 power x over 25 power x. So that is one way of quick solution. So let me multiply both sides by 49 power x over 25 power x. 49 power x over 25 power x. And right hand side also. 49 power x over 25 power x. Once you do that, then right hand side will be 1. What about left hand side? Okay, let's check. I will write 49 power x into 9 power x divided by 25 power x into 4 power x minus 49 power x into 15 power x over 25 power x into 14 power x. Okay. Now how you will simplify this, this only matters. So 49 power x into 9 power x. See we can write 49 as 7 square whole power x and then 3 square whole power x which is nothing but you will write 7 times 2x into 3 times 2x so it is 21 square x. So let me write directly. It is 21 square whole power x. Numerator only. Similarly denominator you can directly see 25 times 4. So it will be 100. Let me write here. 25 power x into 4 power x. We will write it will become 100 power x. So we will write 10 power 2 power x. Okay. So let me write here 10 power 2 whole power x minus this term will be let me write that value also 49 power x into 15 power x over 25 power x into 14 power x. So we will write 49 into 15 over 25 into 14 whole power x. Okay, by exponent property, you can take away directly its exponent to the common exponent. Okay, so this is 3, this will become 5. 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 3 is 21 over 10. So let me write 21 over 10 
whole part x simple now swap the exponent it will become 21 over 10 whole power x whole square minus 21 over 10 whole power x equal to 1. Now let us consider 21 power x is equal to 21 over 10. Let me write that value 21 over 10 whole power x is equal to t. This was the initial beginning solution. Once you will substitute, you will get quadratic. So let's substitute. So 21 over 10 whole power x whole power 2 minus 21 over 10 whole power x minus 1 equal to 0. So t is equal to 21 over 10 whole power x. Equation will become t square minus t minus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. t equal to minus b. So minus b means 1 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So 2. So value will become 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. So there are two values as you can see your exponent cannot be negative. This t cannot be. It is always greater than 0. Always positive. So we will reject this minus sign because 1 let me write both of the values over 2 comma 1 minus root 5 over 2. Root 5 is 2.23. 1 minus 2.23, so that value will be negative. But t cannot be negative, which is your left hand side. So we will reject this. Rejected. So what is accepted? That is t equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Okay. So let's put the value of 2, t, and then we will simplify. So let me write 21 over 10 whole power x equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2. Root 5 is 2.23 I am taking only two digits after decimal. So this value will be 3.23 over 2. So this value will come out 1.615 right hand side. Left hand side is 21 over 10 so 2.1 I am taking whole power x okay now let me write here 2.1 whole power x is equal to 1.615 now take log both sides so log of 2.1 whole power x equal to log of right hand side now apply the property this exponent will come here as a multiplier so x log 2.1 equal to log 1.615 so x will be equal to log 1.615 over log 2.1 after simplification means after putting the value of all the numbers log 1.615 and log 2.1 this value is coming out 0 0.6458 because of log of 1.615 is 0 0.2081 and this is 0 0.3222 so that value is 0 0.6458 this is your x okay now we are going to check verify verification x is equal to 0 0.6458 so your equation is i have written 9 over 4 as 2.25 whole power x minus 15 over 14 as 
1.071 होल पार x if you will divide 15 over 14 so that value will be 1.071 9 over 4 so 2.25 it should come out and match with 25 over 49 that means 0 0.5102 Otherwise, you will get means six terms. You will put over there 9 par 0 0.6458, 4 par 0 0.6458, 15 par 6, 0 0.6. So there will be six terms. So to reduce that work, I just written by using exponent property a par x over b par x is a over b whole par x. So let me put the value directly. So 2.25 whole par. 0 0.6458 plus minus 1.071 whole power 0 0.6458 it should equal to 0 0.5102 whole power 0 0.6458 so let us put the value this value is 1.6882 minus second value is 1.045 if you will simplify it and right hand side also this value is 0 0.6475 once you will take away 1.045 from 1.6882 you will get 0 0.6432 which is almost equal to 0 0.6475 that means this solution is absolutely correct. Okay. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel also.